Alright, you want more Ruby shit? Here's more fucking Ruby shit! Funny party. Other grandma's birthday episode. Ruby's setting up a party for grandma and everything's going good, right? No, she remembers Max exists and she can't stand that shit. She's like, no, Max, you can't play with your toys. It's grandma's birthday and I hate you. Here's what you can do. I sent invitations to seven guests and they all checked the box that says, yes, they're coming. <sighs> I'm almost finished with the table decorations. You can help me. Oh, 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 can he? How fucking kind of you. Hey, stop playing with your toys so you can start setting up mine. That's the guest list. It's them and all of her toys. And I don't believe they said yes. I don't believe it. I think you're an unlikable bitch and they physically can't say no. Also, I hope you guys like these because it means I have to watch these fucking episodes and hear that annoying ass voice every day. Anyway, check out her reaction when Max fucking dares to bring one of his toys to the party! Red alert! Danger! Danger! Red alert! Red alert! No, Max! Grandma doesn't want spiders and slugs and space cadets at her birthday party. She wants to sit between Rapunzel and the Tooth Fairy. Danger. I'm sick of this bitch telling Max what Grandma does and doesn't want. You're always wrong! You're wrong! You're fucking wrong! You don't know shit about grandma! She's like, here's my toys, put them over there! Max is like, look at this goddamn bitch. I agree, Max. She fucking sucks, I know. Then when she leaves, he has this devious plot to sneak his own toys into the party. Not even to replace hers, he keeps them there. He doesn't even notice, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine! I must be having a bad counting day. We need another chair. You're not having a bad counting day. You're a fucking dumbass. If I was there, you'd be gone. You'd be done in a second. Grandma gets here, and let's watch the ending, except I sped it up because this fucking show is dumb and slow as balls. You sit here, and I'll introduce you to all the guests. This is Tooth Fairy, and Curly Shirley, and Mrs. Quack. Wait, that's not Tooth Fairy. That's Camp Sam Slug. It's not Curly Shirley, it's Jelly Ball Spitting Spider. And that's not Mrs. Quack, it's Air Splitter Space Cadet. There are three uninvited guests here. Uninvited guests? How exciting! Now the show wants you to be like, Oh, ha ha, how silly, Ruby didn't notice the blah blah blah. But here's what we're all forgetting. She had more chairs! Shout out for everyone! Mm, but that wasn't an option! It's invite only! That's what Grandma would have wanted, right? Look at how fucking furious she is! Fucking! A compilation of Ruby being nice for no reason at all. Really? Really, Max and Ruby? Is this a fucking joke? Am I a fucking joke to you? You guys have access to the entire fucking Max and Ruby archives. You found 45 seconds of her not being a bitch. Let's see what I found on your YouTube since I don't have fucking Paramount Plus. Open it! Don't rip the paper! We can use it for a thank you card. Put it on, and I'll let you help me set the party table. I'm going to help you get dressed or you'll never be ready. You can help me see the guests around the table. Max, come out and close the door. Hurry! <sighs> You can make your disgusting worm cake over here. <sighs> okay, Max. Be a scary vampire. But scary vampires don't get treats. That's right. Max, it isn't a snow queen yet. There's a lot more to do. Oh, Max! That's because I found all the eggs. Guess who's going to get the chocolate chicken? Ruby. How do you like to sort lipsticks? By color or by size? Color. He needs eyeshadow and mascara. And lipstick and rouge. <laughs> Sit very still, Max. Fly. Oh, no, Max. You have to be a lot older before you can fly a kite. Fly. No, Max. I want to fly the kite by myself. <gasps> Wait, Max? Here are some more valentines for you to put in the mailbox. Valentine! Hold on, Max. You have to mail this first. 
Max is too little to use scissors and glue, so he couldn't make a Valentine's Day surprise. Don't worry about it. I don't think Grandma would like them anyway.